All right, we're down at uh, Rabbit Hole, my local cafe, with Eric the Eel, Hitwood. How you going, Eric? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. Hey, I'm just first bassy. Oh. Just because it's your birthday. <laughs> oh, to, uh, thanks, mate. Your cake and... <laughs> I'm not going to sing happy birthday, but oh, with a slight. <laughs> I hope it does. There we go. Oh, thanks, mate. And you can do that. Yeah, blow that out. Yeah. All yours. Mate, you're a legend. Thank you. I'll go easy on you now. Thank you. All right, first of all, how are you enjoying Brisbane? Oh, loving it. Yeah, every second of it. Um, don't really like the traffic in the uh, city, but um, yeah, where we are now, it's yeah, pretty nice place. The traffic's easy, mate. Coming from Melbourne, um, have you seen that traffic down there? Or? I have. The bike riders do get a bit annoying in, in Melbourne, but um, yeah, I reckon he is. So I can't stand the traffic from the sunny coast. So. <laughs> you've, you've got it easy up here, mate, let me tell you that. Um, here come the coffees. So talk about, uh, talk to me about what coffee you've gone with today, what brew? Um, no, I've just gone the cappuccino. I haven't really had anything else, haven't experimented, experimented with anything else, but um, yeah, this seems to do the job. Very good, mate. That no, looks good. Um, now, you've just moved out of your host family into a household of boys. Talk to me about that and who you're living with. Yeah, well, I moved out about a month and a half ago now, and um, they were really good, the Warrens. Uh, been with them through the academy last year, and then, um, yeah, just thought it'd be time to move out, and uh, moved out with Josh Clayton and um, Josh McGuinness, and yeah, I've been fantastic. Um, loved every second of it. Yeah, H any stories, any dirt on the boys, or any? No, nah, nothing yet. I'll wait. I'll wait for something to happen. Be, there will be something happening. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, now, I've got you in the creep squad. There's three of you. There's you, Shaq, and Hammer. Do you know why I've got you in that squad? No, I can't. Something to do with Tinder and your Tinder profile pictures? No, I, no, I don't have Tinder anymore. You don't? No. Why would you get rid of it? Oh, I just thought it wasn't for me. I'm sure Shaq, Shaq doesn't get off it, so yeah. I do get a lot of goss from him about it. So yeah. The reason why I put them in the creep squad is because their profile pictures were their Brisbane Lions in their Brisbane Lions jumper, so um, the boys weren't too happy with that. Nah, nah, <laughs> not anymore. Now I understand the boys have gotten into me, and yeah. I understand <laughs> that shouldn't be on Tinder. Uh, we've got a few fan questions here. Who's mo most likely to run with the line, don't you know who I am, out on the town? Oh, I reckon definitely Josh Green, yeah. Ro Buick, and Michael Close. Yeah. Them three, without a doubt. Yeah. I reckon second behind you. Um, socks and thongs or Ugg boots? Nah, I'd, I'd go socks and sandals. Yeah. yeah what are you you wearing the, what are they called? The, the Birkenstocks. The Birkenstocks. Yeah. yeah. They're a big yeah. hit, aren't they, at the club oh, now? Boys are loving them. Ever since Belly, Belly we got around him yep. when he came to the club and yeah, as soon as I laid eyes on them, I, I loved, loved them. Didn't you? I loved them. Yeah, you love them. Now, we're meant to have Shaki on the the segment today, but he's had physio. The question was, who will kick the biggest bag out of you and the Shaq? Oh, no, nah, Shaq's got the run. Runs on the board. He will. Future, he's going to end up with the most snags. No, nah, I, reckon, I reckon so far he's got the runs on the board, and all last year he's kicking bags left, yep. right, and centre, so yeah. Now, you kicked your first goal last week. Um, talk to me about that, how, how that was. and. Yeah, well, um, got a little bit of a cheap one. Me and Shaqy got someone holding the ball, and Shaqy pretty much said oh, I, could, I could have that one. <laughs> and then, um, nah, the, the uh, West Coast boys said some rude comments to the umpire and um, got some 50, got 50 metres, so I was pretty chuffed with that. And um, yeah, no, it was a great experience. A bit of a blur, to be totally honest, yeah. but um, yeah, it was fantastic. Something I'll never forget. Now we're going to go inside 50 with Eric the Eel. Uh, chocolate or vanilla? Um, no, I don't mind chocolate by itself, and I like a vanilla milk, vanilla milkshake, yep. so I don't mind either or. Winter or summer? Summer. Yeah? yeah. Summer boy. Surprise me, because everyone says winter up here is the best time of the year. Nah, it's too cold here. Too cold? Yeah, too so cold. you like training 40 degree heat and all that? 40, but 30, 30 degrees, Happy 35. That, yeah, okay, very cool. Um, Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Favourite nickname, eel or seal? <laughs> if I had to pick one of them, it'd be eel. I don't know where uh, where they've gotten seal from. But eel or long or yeah. spaghetti? <laughs> nah, eel again. Eel. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for. Uh... I'll start that again. <laughs> How hard is it? Oh, you do it. Nah, I'm not doing it. It's your show. All right, eel. Thanks for uh, coming on the show, mate. It's been a pleasure. Let me know who you want on the next show, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.